All right, we are going to approximate square root of 10. Okay, we are going to approximate square root of 100.5. Here, let's use the linearization first. And again, this right here is just the equation of the tangent line. And I'll write down this for you guys. L of x is equal to the value of the function at the a value. And then we add f prime of a. And then we multiply by x minus a. So what's the function that we are talking about? Here we have square root of a number, so the function is just square root of x. Here we go. Let f of x be equal to square root of x. And what's the a value? Not 100.5, but just 100, because we know square root of 100 is a nice number. So that's what we have. And then let's get the linearization first. So f of 100, this right here is just square root of 100, and that's just equal to 10. And then let's get the derivative. The derivative of a square root is just 1 over 2 square root of x. And then just plugging 100 here, so f prime of 100. This right here is 1 over 2 times square root of 100. That's 10 times 2, so 1 over 20. And then just get the linearization. L of x equals the value of the function. And we add the slope, which is 1 over 20, and then multiply by x minus a, which is 100. Okay, and then let's see. This times that is 1 over 20x. This times that is minus 5, and then plus 10, so it's plus 5. And then we can just say that square root of 100.5, this right here is going to be approximately we're plugging 100.5 into this now, so we have 1 over 20 times 1, sorry, times 100.5, and then plus 5. Worked it out, we will get this right here, right? We'll get this right here, being, we'll get this right here, it is uh, 1, is 10.025, okay? So, you see, if I didn't put this down right here, then there would be an equal sign because I'm saying this is equal to that. So this is how you go about that. If you write this down again, you can just put approximation. So, some small thing. But anyway, 10.025, just worked out. Okay, second way, differential way. And of course, on the exam, you can just pick one of these ways to do it. Perhaps this right here is easier. I don't know. You guys let me know dy equals the derivative of the function multiplied by dx. Take y to be square root of x, and then x is at 100. And then the difference between the x value here and then the x value that we know is delta x, which we can say that's the same as dx, and that's just 0 0.5. Okay, so do the derivative. dy equals 1 over 2 square root of x dx. And then plugging numbers, dy equals 1 over 2 times the square root, x is 100, and then dx is 0 0.5. Work this out, this is 20, and then this is 0 0.5, divided by 20, <laughs> we get 0 0.025. And then here, this tells us square root of 100. 0.5, it's approximately, we go from square root of 100, but we add the dy value. And this right here, I'm just going to write this down a couple more times. And that's why I am still using the approximate symbol, because I'm reading this across. Earlier, again, I'm saying this is equal to that, but altogether, I'm saying this is approximately equal to that. So just a style of like writing down the equal sign with approximations. Anyway, this is 10, and then this right here is that. Finally, of course, same answer, you guys know it. 100.5, right, square root of 100.5 is approximately 10.025. And this one right here is actually very, very close. That's it.